Hello and welcome to First Impression Reviews. I'm Bert the Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Earthrise online two-pack of Dirge and Ramjet and I'm really excited to get these guys opened up and check them out. These guys have been shipping all week long. Most people started getting these over the weekend, this past weekend, Saturday and Sunday. A lot of people started getting them. Mine came in today as at the time of this recording. I'm recording this on Wednesday. Uh, I am one of the lucky ones, though. Mine came inside of a mailer box, so I didn't have a label just attached to this. Unfortunately, a lot of people received them that way, which I don't know what the deal is with that. Uh, Amazon should absolutely not be doing that. It's not cool. Uh, but real quick, just to take a look at the outside of the package, you can see here artwork of uh, Dirge and Ramjet in jet mode. And then over on the side, the artwork just extends into the arc, and we can see thrust right up there. We've got our... Earthrise artwork on this side here and then on the back we've got product shots of Dirge and Ramjet in both vehicle or jet and robot mode. So let's get this opened up and have our first impressions of it right now for the first time. Okay let's get this guy opened up and see what we've got inside. So we got tape on the top here. Do we have any on the side? Yes we do. Go ahead and cut that. That should do it. Let's open this up and see what we've got. And it looks like everything is going to be right there on top of that tray. There's nothing left inside the box there. So included, we've got a piece of the map. So for those of you that are collecting the map and putting it together, uh, this one actually comes separate. It's on a card stock though, so it's going to be thicker from what you find on the inserts for the uh, some of the other figures. But uh, there, is there any writing on there? I don't know. Um, did we get a decoder? Yeah, we got a decoder here, but let's cheat, and I'm just going to grab a decoder that I already had. And let's have a look and see if there's any names on here. I, I don't see anything. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but I don't appear to have a name for any planets. So there's that. Um, I guess there's no name on this one. So there we go. We can set that off to the side. And of course, we got our little white sheet that we don't pay attention to. Our decoder right there on the side. And our sheet of instructions. And nice. everybody's been commenting about these, how nice these are now. So, all right, let's get these guys out of the package. And here we have Ramjet and Dirge out of the package and in their robot mode and armed up with their no cannons ready to go. And they look amazing right out of the box. These guys just look fantastic. They look like they just stepped right out of the cartoon, the OG1 cartoon, which is really, really awesome. Now, I know that a lot of people have been posing them with the wings folded back. I personally like leaving them with the wings out because that's just the way that they were uh, animated in the G1 show. And one thing that I like is the fact that they gave them the same null rays as the regular Seekers uh, because that's also, again, something that was that way in the G1 cartoon. The toys had different arm missiles, and we'll see that in a moment when we do comparisons. But in the cartoon, they were animated with the same kind of null ray on the arms that the other Seekers like Starscream, Thundercracker, and uh, Skywarp had. So I really like that a lot. Again, it's just a G1 cartoon callback all the way around, and these guys just look fantastic. Let's start with Ramjet. Let's take a look at him. He looks really nice and of course some minor uh, retools or remolds here uh, where he's got a new head of course with a cone head hence the name and he's got the knee pads also accurate. These guys knee pads are accurate to the way they were animated 
in the G1 cartoon. So I really like that a lot. All of the articulation is going to be the same as what we've had. So we got a ball joint on the head, arms can go all the way around and then it can go in and out, rotation at the bicep, bend at the elbow. And if you want to do that with the wrist, I guess you can. Nah, yep, we got a, do we have rotation at the waist? No, that's just me messing with the ball joints. We do not have a waist rotation, uh, but we do have forward, back that far in and out at the uh, legs. Thighs can rotate, knees can bend that far. And of course the ankles can dip or tip a little bit because of transformation. And we've also got an ankle tilt. And since it was so popular, we have surfing pose because apparently that was a popular thing so here it is for those of you guys that like the surfing pose there it is looks really nice and i really like the wings uh, there on the legs and just kind of going all the way around so you can see what he looks like i love the way this looks this guy looks fantastic taking a quick look at the head let's see if we can get that focused in so you can see what he looks like and you can see what the mold on his head is like and then if we can get Dirge in close enough, no, we cannot. So we'll just set him back and we'll focus in on Dirge so you can see they actually have two different heads. Uh, he's got kind of the screaming uh, head here on this guy or the face rather. Uh, so hopefully Thrust will have a third and different mold on the head. I hope that's the case. They're probably just going to give him that head. Uh, but one can hope, right? So looking at Dirge again, same thing. All the articulation is going to be the same. Minor differences, uh, the aforementioned head and the knees. And of course, I didn't mention the wings. The wings are also minor retools of what we had with the other Seekers. So just going all the way around so you can see what these guys look like. Wow, look at that. Right out of the box. That is unacceptable. That is horrible. And unfortunately, I know how difficult these guys are to get. So this is just an error that I am going to have to live with. And that's absolutely awful. Look at that Hasbro QC. This is terrible and unacceptable. That's horrible. Those pins just shot through the way they are. That's That looks terrible. That's absolutely awful. Um, wow, that's really bad. That's really unfortunate. But I guess I'm just going to have to eat it on that one um because quite frankly i just don't want to deal with the hassle of it that's unfortunate uh for comparison here is uh let's see we'll just put them in the middle i guess uh here are dirge and ramjet next to starscream so you can see what they look like with their uh mole brothers and uh, we'll, we'll do all five of the seekers here in just a moment that's just kind of for a quick comparison so you can see these guys together uh let's do him next to prime so you can see what that looks like next to prime and well i guess we'll put him here again there we go that looks nice and now of course here he is next to the only g1 cone head that i have and that would be dirge and this is something that i was mentioning earlier the toys had a different uh cannon here on the arms than what was actually animated this is actually correct to the animation so i actually like that they did that that's very very cool all right let's get these guys transform actually no we're not transforming them yet we're gonna do a comparison of all five of these first i want really want to do this and i hope we have the room to do it it doesn't look like we are uh let's, let's see can can we make this happen i really want to make this happen there we go that'll work check that out that is so cool and i cannot wait to get thrust and have all six of these guys together. Okay, so getting into transformation, let's start with Ramjet. Uh, we're going, sorry, uh, <laughs> yeah, Ramjet. What am I thinking? Okay, I was thinking Thrust for some reason. I can't wait to see Thrust. All right, so we'll go ahead and take uh, off the Null Rays. And I am pretty sure this is gonna be pretty much the same transformation we already know from the other Seekers with some minor differences. So we'll start here at the arms and just pop these open. It wasn't too hard. Close that up. There we go. Same thing on the other side. I wonder how these little wing things are going to work. We'll find out shortly. Close that up. There we go. Okay, so we are going to pop the chest open. That's tight. I get that up. Okay, so let's see how this cone is going to work. So it should just go right over the head, just like the other ones did. 
Did I wonder if they made more room in there for these? I should have looked at that in the other cone heads before transforming them. Pop this up, rotate it, bring it on back, and that should clip on right there, just like that. Close up the arms. I'm really scared. It feels like I'm putting undue pressure on those, just not meaning to. Oh wow, this is super tight. That took a minute. Okay, close this back up, make sure everything is lined up. Okay, we're good to go there. Let's peg the feet together. And no tail wings or stabilizers to worry about this time, so that just closes the feet right up. Okay, we're going to open these up and collapse the legs. And if I remember correctly, this is actually going to sit under the knee pads this time around because we've gotten bigger knee pads. So we'll go ahead and collapse the knees back down, close this up. And that looks pretty good because the new knee pads actually cover up that cod piece, which is actually an improvement. So... Now uh, we should be pretty much done almost, so we're going to close that up. And how does this work? Okay, so this just comes down, and then the tip just stays pointing forward. So you can do whatever you want with this tip. See that? So this is just going to come straight down, and we're going to angle it forward. And tab all of that into place, and the wing just fell right into place. That's pretty nice how it did that. Close that up, and I uh, just want to make sure that everything is... Tab them properly, and it looks to be that way. I love the design. I, I just love the design of the jets for the cone heads. They're just so, so cool. And, of course, we can take these and just pop them right here on the wing. You can pop them on the wing. You can also pop them here on the side if you wish. You can do that there, or you can do it back here. I personally think that looks better back there. But I know that instructions and G1 and all of that call for them here. So this is how we'll do it. So there it is. There is Ramjet in this jet mode. And I guess don't those don't stick out too far in jet mode. So that actually looks pretty good. That is really nice. Taking a look at that jet mode all the way around. And then underneath. Of course, underneath it's just going to look like all the other Seekers. Um, yeah, just uh, the... I, you know what I just noticed? The Decepticon symbols... It's got Decepticon symbols on both sides, so you got those there, and then you also got them down here. So whether you're in jet mode or in robot mode, you've got proper Decepticon symbols. That is pretty neat. And I don't know if I've... Yeah, I, I had not noticed this before. I'm looking at my other Seekers, and I'm seeing this now. There actually is a little seat molded right in there. Let's see if we can get that to show. I had not noticed that with my other Seekers. Look at that. There's actual seat and little control panel there on the front. That is pretty neat. So, yeah, that looks awesome. That is a really nice-looking jet mode, and we'll compare them here in a moment. Let's just set him aside and start on Dirge. And to me, Dirge, with that screaming face, just screams metal to me. <laughs> so, okay, let's... Uh, so, transformation is going to be the same. We're going to pop the arms open. And the rest of the transformation for Dirge was pretty much uneventful. It was the same as... Ramjet and all the other cone heads for that matter. So I went ahead and just skipped forward to this point here Just so that we can look at the difference with the wings and we're just going to do the exact same thing we did with Ramjet This tip as you can see it'll just move up and down. You can do whatever you want with it uh, But we're just going to bring this little panel down and then that's straight up and that's just going to clip into place and then this this one This cl does clip into the side here or tab into the side. It doesn't tab into the wing like Ramjet did So we're just going to bring that straight down Tab that into the side, and then we just want to make sure that the wings are straight. That's really about it. And then, of course, our null rays. And again, same thing. I'm just going to put them on the wing, just because G1 and instructions and all that. But you can put them anywhere you want. And there we go. There's Dirge in jet mode. And again, that just looks so nice. I absolutely love. I can't say this enough. I just love the design of the jet mode. For the cone heads, they were just so cool. It's it's so awesome how they took the same design we already had with the Seekers and just kind of souped it up. It's just such a cool effect. Really love this. And of course, going around the bottom, it just looks like another Seeker. And that's pretty much about it. Real quick, for comparisons, here he is one more time with G1 Dirge. So you can see what these guys look like together. And one thing of note, I absolutely love the color. Oh, look at that. 
Decepticon symbols on both sides on the wings for this one too. So take note of that. That's cool. But anyway, the, the gold color on the wings of Dirge here. Absolutely love this because again, this just screams G1 like the background or at least half of the backgrounds <laughs> anytime there was an autobot background in the g1 cartoon this is the color that that was so this just it's just so g1 the way this feels absolutely love it but here they are together so you can see what these guys look like side by side and it's that's that's just so cool i really gotta get in gear and get my other uh the other two g1 cone heads this is the only cone head g1 cone head that i have i have the regular Seeker, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp, but in, as far as cone heads go, this is the only one I got. So I gotta, I gotta get in gear and get the other two. And then, of course, let's do this. How is that for a comparison with them <laughs> side by side with the other three Seekers we've gotten so far? This is looking so cool. Again, I can't wait to get Thrust so that we can complete all six of these. These guys look so great together i cannot say enough good things about the update to the seeker mode if you're not familiar again this was the old classics or universe mode that we got back like in 2006 i think it was uh they've upsized it and they've done some tweaks there to improve it and it, they just keep getting better and better every time i get my hands on a new seeker it's familiar but it's also new and improved and it just feels so good. I am absolutely loving everything about these new Seekers. And there we have one last look at Transformers Earthrise, War for Cybertron, Ramjet, and Dirge, who in my headcanon is a complete metalhead, by the way. <laughs> uh, absolutely fantastic figures, great additions to the Earthrise line, great addition to the Seekers, and I cannot wait to get my hands on Thrust now. So let me know what you thought of these figures down in the comments below. Give me some thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're notified when I upload a new video. I got that donate button up there if you wanna hit on that. I certainly would appreciate it. Share with your friends if you like what you see, and I'll talk to you next time.